Hey guys, it's Eric here. One of the most asked questions that I get on the channel here is, where do I get my anime figures? Or what stores to buy from? So today, I'm going to be going over a list of stores and websites that I frequently use, and hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. So, let's get into it. We're going to be breaking it down into a few different categories, but we're going to start off with pre-orders. Typically for anime figure pre-orders, I like to use sites like AmiAmi, mainly because it has a very nice clean interface, has a very very wide selection of items, and has very good customer service. You can find everything that you need there for the most part. It basically has everything. They also have a pre-owned section which is essentially a treasure trove of goodies. You might be able to find some grails you've been hunting for for a while, and make sure to use their grading system. They have everything listed there, so if things are very damaged, like a C grade, you'll be able to see exactly what's wrong with it. And you can kind of make the choice whether or not you want to repair it or skip it and go for something a little bit higher. But AmiAmi is a very good choice and I, I use it quite a bit. However, the site that I use almost exclusively now is Ninin Game, mainly because they have a very good and robust point system it's fairly solid here. The pricing of the figure is a little bit higher than AmiAmi, but the points they give out is a lot more than what AmiAmi would do. Also, they actually have Portrait of Pirate figures for One Piece, and that's another thing that AmiAmi doesn't have. And I also have been collecting a lot of Aniplex figures, and some other rarer things are typically also found on an in-game. They don't just have figures, they have a whole bunch of model kits and everything else, so you're bound to find something you like here as well. The private warehouse is also a good option. You kind of stockpile a whole bunch of things and then have it shipped out to you later. And for whatever reason, I'd say it's about a 50-50 chance from Japan to Canada, whether or not I get taxed for the custom. So I'll take that 50-50 chance any day. My third most used site, however, is kind of the one that I use as a backup to the other two, and that's Good Smile Company, but the global version. I'm assuming the US version also works very well because shipping should be fairly inexpensive, but whenever shipping is an issue and if it's a bigger figure like a bunny, I typically like to use Good Smile Global. I'm not sure if they're still doing the 2000 yen shipping, but when that was around, it was, it was goaded. It was, it was it was amazing but for the backup of my backup it's actually amazon japan i don't use this too too often just because i can find things before it gets to this point but if you do want to use amazon japan is a very good resource because it includes things like customs when you kind of see the final price so there's not really any guesswork here and you can kind of decide for yourself whether or not you want to go and pick that up the only thing you do have to worry about is just typing things in and searching things up via the Japanese name. But if you're, you know, if you're okay with that, then this is also a good option. Moving over to an oldie but a goodie. This is a site that I've used a very, very long time. I think well before I started doing YouTube, like over 10 years ago, and that is Hobby Link Japan. They do a lot of things like Gumpla models, modeling supplies, and they do also have anime figures on the site. So definitely go check them out. Uh, they, they're kind of like a sleeper hit. I believe you can also get things like Pokemon cards and whatnot. So yeah. Now another site that's kind of less frequently used for me, but I've bought from them in the past. It is Solaris. One of the best things about them that I think is you can actually see the new and used on the same page. So if you search up a figure that you're interested in and you want to buy it, you can see what the new price is. And if it's a slightly older one, they'll also have a used one. So you can kind of see whether or not you want to spend the extra money on the brand new one or the used one. I think that's one of the, the benefits of this site compared to the other ones. You, you can see right away. There is no jumping around to other pages and whatnot. It's just all there and very, very easy and very well laid out. All right, let's move over to some North America based websites. And the major difference between these and the Japanese ones is Japan gets it right away and can ship it directly to you versus these sites here are US based or Canada based and they need to get their, their shipment from Japan via typically like surface parcel. So via boat, so two, three months. And then it might be another month before it gets to you. If timing is a thing, I'd go for the Japanese sites. However, if you want to support the local economy or things like that, then, then go with these. You Also, you don't have to worry about import or anything. No, no, no having to worry about it falling off a boat or anything. 
Starting off with the Big Ben Atomy Store. One of their big selling features here is flat shipping for anywhere in the US, and I believe it's like four or five dollars or something, so it's really, really good. They typically have a whole bunch of different figures that you can kind of select from, and they also have resin statues every now and then, but only the officially licensed ones. This is a pretty good option. Next up is a site that is pretty big, I believe, in the more comic collecting community and that is sideshow collectibles i bought from them before and they're really really solid they have a whole bunch of licensed anime statues here too and also some anime figures so definitely worth checking out as for my canadian collectors i'm gonna be giving you a few nuggets so you don't have to worry about import however like i said before these will take a little bit longer to get to your doorstep first up is toy tarts now i've been using this site for well over 10 years now and that's mainly because this was the only place i could find portrait of pirate figures. There's a bunch of selection on the website. It's not just One Piece. They also have things like Hot Toys and Transformers and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uncle Pops. And... There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a point system as well and I'd highly recommend this place. It gets my seal of approval. Another site that I've stumbled across recently that is Hobby Bee. These guys are partnered with a whole bunch of different brands and their selection is basically top notch. There are a few things in here that I haven't seen on different sites. It is well worth your time as well. There's a lot to look at. Feeding into my new obsession with Transformers, I've also used a site called Ages 3 and Up, which is very much Transformers, Gundam, Gundam modeling supplies, and occasionally some figures kind of sprinkled in. Rounding off the Canadian contingency here, we have Navita World. Now, I believe they are based out of Ontario, like the physical location and everything, but their website is very, very extensive. However, probably the worst to use amongst anything I've listed so far, but there are some gems that if you're hunting for, you'll be able to find. Pricing is a little, a little bit more on the steep side for whatever reason, but they, they basically have like the biggest selection. Like it's massive. Moving over to some grail hunting though, you guys have probably heard me throw around the term grail a lot. That's because there are a lot of things that I've missed out on when I first started collecting that I wish I actually got. And there are a few sites that I use a lot and all the time just to see if I can potentially pick these up. Some are new, some are used, and they're all basically going to be not retail price. I got a few to share with you. One of the sites I love using and going through is Mandarake. For whatever reason, the website feels like you're actually in a Japanese anime figure store. If you've ever been to Akiba or Nakano Broadway, you kind of know what I mean. Like there's just figures lining everything around you and it's it a little chaotic and claustrophobic-y, but that's kind of their website. It's, it's really not the best to look at and it's kind of messy, but you can find some gems here. You actually don't need a proxy or anything to use this website, so huge ups there. But the biggest thing or the biggest tip I have for you for this is try to buy from the same store. You'll be able to see like the item you want and a whole bunch of different stores that are listed underneath, different conditions and prices as well. You want to try to put everything from one store so that one store can ship it out to you. Because what I've learned, unfortunately, if you buy from say, I don't know, like Osaka and somewhere else. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I don't remember the store names right now. If you order from two different places, they're not going to go and consolidate it to you in Japan and then send it off to you. They're just going to send it separately. So if you want to save on shipping, that is the absolute best way to do it. Try to hunt around and consolidate everything into one place. If we're talking about grails though, and things that are very hard to find, I highly recommend you use my figure collection. Not only is it a massive database full of figures and things that you can actually look up, you so you can see if things are counterfeited a lot or whatnot, but there's also an ad section where sometimes users will sell off things for whatever reason. Sometimes they need funds for something or they fall out of love or they bought an extra. Whatever the story is, sometimes there are deals to be had. And I've picked up a thing or two from here in the past and it's it's been good. I've, I've checked off a few grails off my list because of them and sometimes the deals are just too good to pass up. If I do have a tip here though, if anyone ever asks you to send via PayPal friends and family just just don't unless you actually know the person in real life because that's it's like the easiest way to get scammed if they're not willing to send you an invoice or let you invoice them i i probably wouldn't recommend it because that's that's when it gets like too good to be true so heads up
don't get scammed. For the next two sites, you're most likely going to have to use a proxy to do these just because you're, yeah, most of us aren't Japanese citizens. First one up is Yahoo Japan Auctions. It's what it sounds like. It's a, it's an auction site. You can put in bids, you can put in sniper bids, trying to hunt for things you want. If you get outbid, then that's too bad. But if you do win the bid, sometimes it Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's really good. And this is one of those places where you can find your grails. I do highly recommend you type everything in in Japanese. So, you know, Google it if you don't know how and plug it in afterwards. That is like the number one thing when it comes to using this. I've also used Makari a whole bunch on here. Instead of having to bid for things, you just get the price and you get the conditions and everything listed, which is also a good option if you don't want to have the stress of having to outbid people. To make the grail hunting and everything much more easy to do, I'd also recommend using a something like Buy Finder. It's a tool that I've been using more recently, and this site actually allows you to pull things directly from your My Figure collection link, plop it in there, and it helps you list basically wherever this is found on the internet. Like all the different stores, it's gonna try to list it all out. If there's a My Figure collection ad, it'll also put that there too. It's kind of crazy. It lists like everything, everything. However, I have noticed that it does sometimes glitch and doesn't give you what you necessarily want. A very, very good tool if you're looking for things specifically. All right, let's move on to probably the most confusing part of, uh, you know, like what I collect. That That's resin, Re resin statues, licensed, unlicensed, like everything, everything in between. One of the major sites I use all the time is Favor GK. They're great. They have a whole bunch of different things that you can find on there primarily unlicensed statues and their prices are on average a little bit higher than some of the other websites but they have probably the best customer service so in case anything goes wrong or if you're just like a worry wart then favor gk is probably your number one option the resin site that i use the most though is actually called fanatic anime store or fnc anime store i think this one is much much better when it comes to pricing you'll typically find like 20 to 50 dollars off a like the exact same thing sometimes and their shipping costs are much much lower the only downside or negative is they don't really have a point system so if you are very loyal and you've been buying things a lot from a certain site you know you, you want to get a little discount every now and then yeah they, they, they don't really have this so but very good they have a ton of resin statues also licensed ones which is a good uh, plus side another resin site that i'm trying out currently like the first time I bought from them is called Cow Nation. I'm going to be being, buying something pretty big. So hopefully this goes well. And one of the good things about this place is they actually show you what you're going to be paying with shipping and supposedly customs all together. So no special hidden things are going to be popping up. You get everything right there. The only thing is you don't really get to see everything in English. Some of the translation stuff is a little bit off because I believe it's not, I believe it's primarily in Spanish. Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone who actually buys off here a lot, but that's one of the things I see. It seems like it's not meant for English, but it's just translated and something's a little off. There is a decent point system here too. So if you're very loyal and you buy a lot of things, you might get some good mileage on this. All right. So I'm going to rapid fire three of them for you. They're essentially the same thing and they only do licensed. All right, first one up, Prime One Studios. They primarily sell their own stuff. Based in Japan, shipping will cost you an arm and a leg. And for whatever reason, they only do DHL. So rest in peace, your wallet. Sideshow Collectibles is a good option. Toy Tards is also a good option. And Spec Fiction is also a good option. They, they have their own little point system thing going on. Only really sells licensed stuff. And I believe they're based in LA. I bought like a thing or two off of them, so that's where, that's where I got white beard from. Lastly, the site that I, I try not to use too, too often, but I sometimes kind of go through it is uh, Facebook Marketplace. This is probably the most dangerous one to use just because I've seen a lot of people buying things like counterfeits and try to sell it as the real thing. Whether or not they know it's the real thing or not, I don't know. So I don't know if you're trying to scam people or you're just misinformed, but I, I've seen some good deals on here. Just be extra careful if you're doing these. Meet in a very public place, and uh, if you can, bring a friend that can preferably fight. And there we have it. 
This is essentially my tips and tricks and all the different sites I use to amass the giant collection that I currently have. Of course, I'm still learning and there's a lot of different sites out there I know for sure, but if I miss anything or a special site that you think is really, really good, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you found this video helpful at all, please consider giving it a like. Ultimately, just remember to do your research, budget, and I guess enjoy the process. That, that's, that's the main takeaway, I think. My name is Derek and uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.